Larry Greenwell is a member of the Reunification Project Board. He's the project manager, and in this short update, he takes us through the process of applying for planning permission. Well, the first thing to appreciate that is that everything between the Canal Bridge and the Middle and Main Line is a new structure. There was an embankment there a long time ago, but it's not there now. Lots of things have changed, so we cannot do anything without planning permission. Charnwood Borough Council, quite rightly, need to know what we would like to do. The neighbours need to know what we are doing and we need to reach agreement with all of them, and all that becomes part and parcel of one planning application. Cass Hayward are our designers. They are structure specialists, uh, railway specialists, and they've been asked to look at the most sensible and most efficient way of creating a structure at the right height and in the right location between the canal bridge and the middle and main line bridge. Is it an embankment or is it something different? How do we deal with the constraints that we've discovered on site? The narrowness in one part, the difference in height in another part, the things that are underground, the culvert, which removes a lot of flood water from that part of Loughborough. There's a one and a half meter diameter foul drain, which we must somehow bridge over and protect. There's the brook itself with all its wildlife in there. How are we going to impact on that? How do we leave it in a better place than it was before we started? The council are also going to be very interested on the construction process, the noise and the disruption that comes from a contractor on there for a period of time. What are constraints, operational hours, noise, muck on the road, simple things like that. They all have to be agreed and approved by the council before we start. A lot of design, a lot of specialist input, um, all manageable and all to be coordinated over the next two or three months so that when we put a planning application in, all aspects have been considered. Our intention is to have everything agreed and formally submit uh, in the late spring, before the summer break, certainly. If we submit two or three different planning applications, we're just repeating the same process and we're repeating the same work. For each individual, we'll have to have a separate flooding assessment. We'll have to have a separate ecology assessment. We'll have to have a separately packaged piece of design work. And we will just be repeating, repeating and repeating and it'll end up more expensive. I am recently retired, I've volunteered for this. The, the benefit to the area um, to, to see the steam trains running with much more passengers. I live in Nottingham at the north end of the line and if I can see steam trains running up to Nottingham and then back down to Leicester, uh, that would be marvellous, wouldn't it? Thank you for getting us this far and for all your donations and support. Thank you.